Welcome everybody to your gold market update and charts of the day for today. It's Friday, the 16th of February, 2024. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, we saw another positive session in the US with continued buying returning into equities after that pullback, subsequent to a slightly warmer than expected CPI number. Earnings are the driver, still positive, and it's been a good week with, again, that narrative of valuations are being met, being the market chatter. US futures are slightly below neutral, however, in early trading in Asia, but Asian markets are following that strong US lead. The ASX is up around 0.6% with materials outperforming today after a couple of days where they didn't do so well. European equity futures are pointing to a positive open this afternoon to follow through on this bullish sentiment globally. We saw a pullback in the USD again after surging to three-month highs earlier in the week. This, of course, was bullish for gold, which managed to crawl its way back over 2000, that key psychological level. Copper looked very, very strong. Really nice technical reversal pattern with copper. Moved back towards the 200 EMA after holding that 367 support throughout the week. And oil really paused, sitting around that 200 EMA after a strong week again. So a good end to the week for commodities, and we're seeing that in stocks. Bitcoin pushed through 50,000 with apparent ease earlier in the week. It's now pausing at 52,000. be interesting to see if we see it pull back to 50 before moving higher again. But the sentiment remains very bullish on Bitcoin. Of course, we're coming to the back of earnings season and really things start to quieten down significantly next week. A few of the US retailers due to report. In data today, we've got the UK retail sales, US consumer sentiment and inflation expectations due, as well as a probably quite important PPI number in light of the warmer CPI earlier in the week. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We are liking zero following through on yesterday's breach of this 116.70 level. Uh, this looks on track to potentially continue to move higher and possibly test that 125 level. We're trading in the top half of the candle today so far on good volume. And that would be a 5.2% move to the upside. There is further upside potential in the medium term, of course. You can see this was highs hit in the middle of last year and should we breach this we could see ourselves move back up towards 140 so either way a short-term trade or even a medium-term hold look like they may be worth consideration some weakness in the kiwi today and we can see here looking at the euro kiwi chart on a 15 minute how we have used this pivot since the back end of yesterday's session and earlier today as support we got a really nice move up to 176.65 in the first instance. We're having a little pullback from this R1 pivot level with a potential retest of that level and then a subsequent move up towards this 177 level, which would be a 35 pip move to the upside. If we should breach that, then there are further opportunities going forward, but that's the trade we're looking at now. But as always, patience is required to wait for that setup. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.